Good morning and welcome to Classroom Champions Live. I hope you are all doing well this morning. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, Classroom Champions Live is a little sneak peek into what Classroom Champions does with athletes across North America. So today we have a very special treat. We have Haley Daniels. Haley is a canoe, uh, sorry, whitewater slalom canoeer. Correct? Did I say that right? Perfect. Thank you. Haley is the Canadian champion in whitewater canoe slalom. And uh, we're going to show you a little bit about this amazing sport that Haley does um, in case you guys haven't seen it at home before. So Haley, take it away. Tell us a little bit about your sport. So I do the sport of whitewater canoeing and I feel like you're going to see a video here. So this is in Tokyo at the Olympic course. And this is actually at Harvey Passage. This is my home course here in Calgary. And you go up red gates, just like I did, and then down green gates. So I use the water to go down as fast as possible, and I switch sides. So I go on both right and left, whatever is easiest. Sometimes we do some flat water, um, and that's called a pivot that I just did there. So again, this is in Tokyo. And uh, yeah, if you hit a gate, oh, and this is an Eskimo roll. <laughs> So when we roll, uh, we flip over, we actually flip back up. Uh, so that's how we fall in our sport. So sometimes you want to, you don't want to be rolling in a race, but it's good to know how to do it so you can get quickly back up. And if you hit a gate, it's a two second penalty. And if you miss a gate, it's a 50 second penalty. So you really don't want to hit or miss any gates. Wow. That is an exciting <laughs> sport, Haley. I was telling you earlier that I've actually, I've tried kayaking, which looks kind of similar. Um, and I found it so exciting, pretty scary. Um, you know, you talked about, you talked about pivoting, you talked about rolling, you talked about falling. Um, tell us a little bit about how you got started in the sport. Uh, I started paddling. I've been paddling my whole life. And so I grew up canoe tripping with my family and I guess it just was really uh, for me, really natural to get into white water. And it was a little scary at first, uh, but it was just because honestly, the scariest part is that I didn't have any friends. <laughs> and I think starting anything new uh, when you don't know the community is really hard. So um, I remember my first competition, I went and I was just crying and my mom's like, it's okay, you did okay out there. And I was like, but I don't know anybody. <laughs> so um, once I got friends uh, and really got into the community, that's what kept me there. And uh, yeah, I really love it. I love the rush. I love that I get to be outside and see the world. Um, but right now, obviously we're home and we're learning about our, our home training. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. So before we jump into our lesson for today, um, I want to say hi to a couple people who are watching. So mm -hmm. let's see. Um, Angela, greetings from um, Elspeth, I think is how we say that in England, watching all the way yeah. from England. Welcome. We have <laughs> Ashley here this morning. Good morning, Ashley. Mm -hmm. And Charlotte is here um, watching as well. So thank you guys so much for being here. Um, again, for those who are new, we're going to go through a little lesson. And if you want to learn a little bit more about what we do at Classroom Champions, you can always pop over to um, classroomchampions.org. And you can find more lessons as well at teach.classroomchampions.org. But Haley, um, like I said, you talked about pivoting a little bit, right? Uh, yeah. Talk to me about pivoting in life, right? You pivot in, in your sport. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about pivoting in life, where you are right now, and what your what your surroundings look like. Uh, so I'm actually in uh, a place that I live with my brother. I live with my younger brother in a basement suite, and I'm sitting in my living room, living room slash home gym slash home. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a pretty big transition. Uh, just, I think the hardest part for me has been not interacting with people. Uh, I'm a very social person, so that has been tricky and creating my own schedule. We actually, I work from home a lot and in between sessions, we are often, uh, working on stuff. So I think I'm good at being diligent and setting up a regimen, but, it takes work and um, usually I escape to the mountains or uh, the water and I can't do that right now. So um, I've been watching video and um, I even went in a bathtub the other day with all my gear on. 
<laughs> oh, perfect. Well, we're really thankful to be able to connect with you this way this morning and to let you connect with all of the kids out there who, who are watching. So Haley, show us um, where you're sitting right now. I think you have a home gym going and then we're gonna dive into a drawing lesson. Okay, so um, I'm trying to get it with the light here. I don't know if you can see this. So if you see here, I have, um, I have a slalom gate, so you can see that. So that reminds me of paddling. And I've got my bike here. Um, it's on a wind trainer. I have a TRX setup that comes out of the wall. If you're gonna do that, ask your parents. Don't try it on your own. Um, I have a kayak erg that's here. So that turns into um, a resistance machine. And then just some yoga mats and some weights here. So very, very mishmash random. Um, when I found out this was happening, I went to Canadian Tire and bought the last of the weights. <laughs> um, I spent a little bit more, but uh, I knew this was going to be a while, so I, I thought it was a good investment. Yeah, we are we are all adapting, right? So our our kids who are watching from home, they're adapting to not being in school with their classmates, and uh, we're just going to create um, just a little bit of a virtual virtual class today. So Haley, tell us about what you are going to work with us on. You are you love drawing, um, mm -hmm. right? Tell us a little bit about um, what you enjoy about drawing, um, how you get ideas for what you're going to draw and what we're going to do today. Okay, so uh, I've always kind of been a doodler. Um, my brother just woke up. We can say hi to my brother here. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Um, so uh, I've always loved just kind of uh, looking at my surroundings and the thing that's been really important for me is slowing down. So whitewater is so fast and you're constantly going and uh, drawing has been something that I started about uh, a year, a year and a half ago. And I did it a lot when I was younger as a kid. Um, and I just picked it up again to just disconnect and not be on technology all the time. So um, Emily, we're gonna jump straight into our lesson. Is that the goal? Yep, let's do it. Okay. So today, I don't know if you can see behind me, whoop, we're going to draw penguins. <laughs> so I I spent this morning um, trying to figure out how I was going to draw a penguin. Here's my, my little mini lesson. I was testing out some different colors um, and emperor penguins, but I thought we could try and draw a penguin that has balloons because um, everyone would... You know, if I were a penguin, I would love to fly. And as a human, I would love to fly now. <laughs> so uh, let's dream and think about what we can do after this is all over. Uh, so here's my lovely penguin here. What you need at home is really you can have a whiteboard. You can just have some paper. Um, and I have a random array of things that I like to use. Um, my favorite thing to draw with is actually a pencil uh, because I can erase it and then once I've drawn with the pencil, I can then go over it with pen. Um, so you can have pens. You don't need fancy pens like this. Uh, you can have a different color if you want to make your penguin green. Um, you could even paint if you wanted. Um, but make sure that you're putting stuff down. I know when I did arts and crafts when I was younger, my mom was really angry when I would get paint on the table. So make sure that we are <laughs> um, putting down some newspaper or something that you're not gonna get uh, things all over. Okay, and so does anyone need, so are you guys ready? Just looking on the side here, we're going to make a penguin in each color of the rainbow. Erin, that sounds so cool. I only have four colors on my, um, right now because I didn't get a chance to go out. And I, you know, we're not supposed to go out right now. So this was, we're making use of what I have at home. Okay, so I'm gonna erase this lovely penguin that I have here so we can start. You guys ready? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use black. I hope you can see this. Um, I'll try and make it as defined as possible. So the first thing that you wanna do I'm just going to see which one's what, which pen is better. Okay, I think this one. So, 
first thing we're going to do is draw the eye. So just a dot like this. And that'll give you reference on how big it's going to be on here. Then you're going to do a little snout out like that. And that's going to be the beak. And you guys can come back to this at any time after. So if I'm going too fast for you, I'll try and go slow. But <laughs> I'm a speedy person. Uh, then once you have the beak out, you're going to do a little curve at the end. And that's going to be the beak coming down. And then you're just going to come back like that. Then you're going to go down. And that's going to be its neck. And do a little up and that's going to be the top of the head and then you're just going to finish the head just like that so it looks kind of like a seagull right now but we'll make sure that it looks like a penguin i promise so then we go from the neck whoops my whiteboard is not liking the pen there we go maybe i'll try this other one Haley, i'm following i'm following along as well okay awesome um, love it. <laughs> For those of you at home who are who are not that artistic, kind of like me, um, just follow along with Haley. She's going to give you some adaptations. We're adapting to everything right now. So, all right, keep going, Haley. I'm with you. Okay. So, I can't wait to see that colorful penguin in the rainbow. Uh, so, then we're going to do the belly. So, we're going to go out to the side, just out to the side on both sides like that, and then straight down. Ooh. It's very hard for me to draw with white bar board marker, but we're doing it. So then we have the sides of the belly, and then the next thing we're going to do is just make a little whoop at the neck, and that's going to be um, just differentiating the colors because penguins are black and white, right? Uh, we're also going to make sure the penguin has a mouth. Oh, my white bar marker is not liking that, but in the middle of the beak, you want to come back so it has a mouth. For some reason, mine is not doing that. Oh, there we go. Okay, then here, we're gonna do a little teardrop. And that's where the color is gonna be on the neck. Hope you can see that, yeah. And then from the where the neck meets the, the body, you're just gonna come down and do a little S curve there. Just like that. Then from the S curve, about three quarters down, you're gonna draw one of its wings. So you're gonna come over like this, draw the wing, come back, just like that. Then we are going to draw his feet. This is a he, it'll be a daddy penguin. Um, and then we could make a mommy penguin, a little baby penguin too if we wanted. So the feet, you come down here and you just go in a little bit. And you come down, and they're a little furry on its bottom, so you just go like that. And we're gonna draw a little tail. So the tail, there's gonna be a second foot, just like that. And the tail is just gonna come off like this. There we go. Then the feet, we go down. Just like that, two little, four lines like that. And then we're gonna go to the side and, and penguins have these like, we can look at my first drawing here. They have these little claws like that, right? So we wanna draw the little claws. So we're gonna draw one, whoops. My marker's acting up again. Two, three, one, two, three. Oh, I made that one a little too fat, so I'm just going to erase it and come back. Penguins don't have crazy fat feet. And then you want to give them the little claws. And then finish this line here. So that's going to come down and meet the tail. And then um, you want to just draw the last wing here. So that comes off. You want to meet it at the same level as the other wing. And you're just going to come off. Oh. My pens here. Um, come off just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna try and add a little bit of color. So if you have color, I welcome you to do that. So penguins have a little bit of yellow here at the front. Uh, this is an emperor penguin, 
And then they also have a little orange ink right here and a little orange right where that teardrop was that we drew. Um, and then they have a black head and because the eye is black there, I'm just gonna give a little bit of white around the eye so that we can still see the eye but that it has a black head. So I'm just gonna color in, there we go. Whew. This penguin's looking real fluffy. Okay, and then his other, it's hard with the whiteboard here. So we're gonna color in the feet, the tail, that somewhat looks like a penguin, right? And then I just wanna make sure that it has a balloon because I want my penguin to fly. So we're just gonna draw with my black pen, I'm gonna draw a little bow on his hand. My markers will let me do that. Maybe, there we go. There's a bow and then we're gonna go up. I'm going to draw, um, it's going to come out like this. And there we go. We have a penguin who dreams to fly. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. So it's not, it takes, um, something like this takes me a little more time. Um, and I, I do a lot of drawing. Uh, I can show you some other things that I've done. Um, when I'm on the beach, I like to draw seashells. And um, when I was in Australia, I drew a platypus. Um, my favorite thing to draw is actually mountains. So uh, that's something that I'm drawing often. And I, I wanted to draw an osprey the other day. Um, and my brother decided he wanted to do some art as well. So he started painting. Uh, some mountains here, but yeah, it's, I think, uh, it's really art is in the eye of the beholder, right? So like I was just doing some paint splashing, um, trying to get some trees, different, different things. So it's, Beautiful. it's all different. Um, but art has always been something that I've loved to do. So when I was young, I would paint my paddle. <laughs> and so uh, this is uh, my very first paddle, and that's a very large fat unicorn on there. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's um, beautiful. Uh, my brother's paddle. So he had a snake and a eagle. So that so was cool. um, how really art became a part of our lives. Awesome. Well, I love uh, it. Yeah. What are, do you have any hey. questions? I have a question. I have a question. So before we go, well, first of all, this is my penguin. Thank oh, you. It looks awesome. <laughs> I'll keep working on it after we're done here. Um, but Haley, tell me what advice you can give to kids who want to learn to draw, but don't know where to start. I think you just need to not be hard on yourself. Um, the, the greatest thing about drawing is that um, you're not doing it for anyone else but yourself. Uh, so it's about sitting down and disconnecting from technology and being creative in your own mind. So uh, today we got to draw a penguin that was flying. Um, you know, there's so many different things you can do. And uh, once you start drawing, I think for me, what's really been cool is I'll go places. Ooh, I have to take a picture of that because I want to draw that. And you start to see the world as, what you could potentially draw. Uh, you know, there's so many different types of art. Um, when I went to Japan, I'm just finding this one thing. Uh, in Tokyo, they have this beautiful art called Sumanagashi. So it's um, marbling. So uh, I bought an art kit that's called Sumanagashi. It's, it's marbling um, ink. And this is also a type of drawing that you can do. So um, I think it's really up to you. Uh, and taking the time and um, yeah, that's that's the best part. And right now we have time to do it. Perfect. And Ashley is pointing out um, a website that people can go to. It's um, www.artforkidshub.com for lots of amazing guided drawings. 
I learned how to break down my penguin today. So there you go. Perfect. It's a really awesome. great concept for that, an awesome universe. Perfect. And if you guys want to go back and do it a little bit slower, we are going to give you a downloadable um, penguin as well. And um, anyone who knows Classroom Champions knows that we would never leave you without a challenge. So mm -hmm. let's pull the challenge up. I think we have a great challenge for you guys this week. Kaylee, take it away. Okay, so our challenge to you is to draw a rainbow and make it out of construction paper. And you can do it really with anything. As I said, uh, art is in the eye of the beholder. And put it in your window so we can support all the doctors and nurses. And um, I've been getting a lot of mail, so our postal workers as well. <laughs> um, so share with us on Classroom Champions, hashtag Classroom Champions, and hashtag Haley's Champs. And I know that's my challenge as well. I'm going to be making a rainbow and putting it in our we have a lot of windows, so maybe I'll make like 20 rainbows. <laughs> but I will be sharing it with you, and I can't wait to share yours. And I just want to say, I think it's Eve Young. Young? I can't, I'm not 100% how to say your, your name, but yeah. Um, I know. I didn't know they had a tail either. So, fun facts, right? I think that's the coolest part is that you learn about all the little details. Perfect. Well, Haley, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, as I mentioned, if our friends at home are looking for um, more lessons like this or um, you know, to see different downloadables and fun things that you can do, you can always go to classroomchampions.org. We have plenty more videos like this. But Haley, thank you so much for joining us today. We will be back tomorrow for Feel Good Friday. And uh, we hope to see you then. Thanks, Haley. Have a great one. Thank you. Thank you.